Here we are in section 5.4, and we're going to do numbers 20 through 27. Now, uh, in this one, it says, determine if the following are perfect square trinomials. And if they are, factor using that special shortcut method 5, writing it as a perfect square. If they're not, or we're unsure, then we have to go back to the uh, standard trinomial ways of doing things. So we look at this one. This is a perfect square, x squared. And that's a perfect square of 5 squared. So we're going to write it down and take a guess here that it's going to be x plus 5 altogether squared. Now remember, the shortcut is to see if x times 5 uh, and two of them, 10x, is right there in the middle. And yes, indeed, it is. So that one's done. Saved us a lot of work. Okay, let's try this one. 4x squared, is that a perfect square? Yes, of 2x. And this is a perfect square of 3. Now, you'll notice here in the middle, that's a minus. So let's check. Is 2 times 2x times 3, that's 12? Yes, indeed. So this is the answer. And that's how we do it. I'll write the method up here just so we can make sure we see what we're doing. If you were to actually break this apart, a plus b times a plus b, and we get a plus b, a plus b, we end up with a squared, and in the middle terms, 2ab plus a b squared in there. And that's good. So let's check this one out. Um, this one, perfect square, no. It's not. So if it is not, we have to use the normal method. Here we have a leading coefficient that is not 1. So we have to take 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. 1 and 6, 2 and 3. And it looks like plus 6 and a minus 1 will be, the, will be what the middle term came from. So we have 3x squared minus x plus 6x minus 2. Factor out of the front. We now have four terms, so we group. Let's cut that guy in the middle, and we have x times 3x minus 1. And over here, we have a plus 2, 3x minus 1. Factor that guy out that way, and we get x plus 2 times 3x minus 1. That's using the AC method there. OK, let's try the next one. Uh, perfect square. 6 isn't a perfect square, and 294 is not a perfect square. But there might be something that we can take out of everything. It looks like there's a 6 that can come out of x squared minus 14x plus 49. Ooh, look at that. Now, that's a perfect square, and that's a perfect square. So this could be an x and a 7 altogether squared, and this says is a minus. Now, is x times 7 times 2 14? It is. So we just were able to use that shortcut, and there's our answer. So this remaining trinomial was a perfect square. The next one, 9y to the fourth, 66y squared plus 121. Now this just has 11, so that's 9s. But that's a perfect square, and that's a perfect square. So we get a 3y squared times itself would give us that one. And this one is 11. Uh, and this guy here is minus. So let's just double check. Is that times that doubled 66? And indeed, it is. So we got that one. Good. Number 25. Uh, 2m squared, 16m, 32. That is not a perfect square. Um, oh, but we can factor out that 2. Let's do it. Factor out that 2, and we're left with m squared plus 8m plus 16. Now we have a perfect square and a perfect square. So yeah, let's do m and 4 perfectly squared. And that's a plus sign in there. So m times 4 times 2. Yep, it's in the middle. Good. Number 26. Uh, that is a perfect square, and that is a perfect square. But before we do that, be sure you pull out greatest common factor. x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now we have a perfect square there and a perfect square there. So we have x and a 2. Uh, and this guy is a minus. So does that work? x times negative 2 times 2, yep, is a negative 4. So there we are. And number 27. Um, ooh, look at that. 4x squared and 100. Yeah, they are perfect squares. But you notice something can come out of that. Um, looks like a 2 can come out of everything, and we get a 2x squared plus a 15x minus a 50. All righty then. Now, is this a perfect square? 
It is not, because 2x squared, that's not perfect square, neither is 50. So we have to do the A, C method. Take 2 times a negative 50, that's negative 100. Negative uh, 1 and 100. Uh, 2 and 50, 3, nope, 4 and 25, 5 and 20, 6, no, 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, and 10. Looks like it'll be that one if we have a positive 20 and a negative 5. So 20x minus 5x minus 50, 2x squared. So we now have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Let's take out a 2x. We get x plus 10. And we take out a minus 5. And we get x plus 10. Oh, look, those x plus 10s can both come out. So we're left with change the color here and we get uh, x plus 10 times 2x minus 5. So yeah, don't be deceived by those numbers there. Oh, and that 2 comes all the way out front. There we go. So that's the full factorization of 27.